Hi everybody, this is Mike. Today is Tuesday, August 29, 2023. It is 7.30 p.m. in Colombia. And I want to bid you welcome to another live streaming class. So yes, uh, we are practicing the conjugation of regular verbs and um, we already have um, practiced the simple past i mean the simple present the simple future and the simple past remember in spanish we have two conjugations for the simple past one it's called one uh, one of the conjugations uh, is called um preterito indefinido which we already practiced in the past uh, few videos, the past three videos. And in this video and the next one, I uh, hope to be able to complete the Preterito Imperfecto. Remember that Preterito Indefinido is when we use the past to say things that, e that happened and that was it. That happened once in the past and that was it. And we use the Preterito Imperfecto to uh, talk about things that happened on a frequent basis that we used to do, that we would do. So that would be um, like in English when we say, I used to, I used to go to the movies. Um, in the past, I would go fishing, blah, blah, blah. That would be pretty much the, um, <clears throat> the use in Spanish or when we want to um, tell stories and for uh, educational purposes we're going to uh, think in English as if it was just the simple past so if I say I walked in the park in Spanish I can both say yo caminé en el parque or yo caminaba in el parque i can translate the same the same the same way if i say yo caminé en el parque i walked in the park that was once and that was it yesterday i walked in the park ayer caminé en el parque or if i'm uh saying things that i used to do i i used to walk in the park every uh every day yo solía caminar yo caminaba en el parque Yo caminaba en el parque todas las tardes o todos los días, every day. Or if I say, um, in summer, I would, I would walk in the park. En verano, yo caminaba en el parque. But I can also say, I walked in the park. Back then, I walked in the park three times a week. En ese entonces, caminaba tres veces por semana. So, uh, for, for this video and and uh, for this practice and these exercises we're going to take the conjugation of the verb in english in the simple past form but we are going to keep in mind that that we're using the uh, preterito imperfecto which is uh that that conjugation remember remember if you like the video please you know what to do share with your friends groups and social media and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and um it's gonna help us grow and uh that's your way to show support to the channel so um we've been using tables for the conjugation and in this in this case for the preterito imperfecto we are going to use this table as you can see the 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 conjugation for the verbs ending in er and verbs ending in ir is the same it's exactly the same ia ias ia iamos ian iais and you see it's exactly the same so basically we have two conjugations one for er and ir and one for verbs ending in ar and remember in spanish we always say the same and I always explain the same um, every video. In Spanish, we have verbs in its uh, infinitive form. 
And we know that because the verb, the verbs end in ar, er, ir. Jugar, comer, vivir. Those are verbs in their uh, infinitive form. In English would be jugar, to play, comer, to eat, vivir, to live. So, and if we take the verb and we, in the, the verb in Spanish in its infinitive form and we take the, the, um, the, the ending ar, er, ir away from the verb, we keep the root of the verb. So, if the verb is comer, we take er and we have the root com. That root is the one that we're going to use with the uh, conjugations here. So, if the verb is comer, I keep com and for yo, I, yo comía. If the verb is jugar, I say yo jugaba. That's the way we work, right? And... For doing that, I have 56 of the most uh, used regular verbs in Spanish. I have a list of the 56 uh, most used regular verbs in Spanish. And that's for us to practice these uh, conjugation rules and also uh, get used to uh, sentences in Spanish. So, we're going to start with abrir. And as you can see, I have the, the root of the verb in red. And we change this according to the table. In this case, we need to use the third column, which is the same second column as you as I explained before. In this case, for the preterito imperfecto. And we change that according to every uh, pronoun or subject. And remember, in Spanish, I can skip the subject. Because the conjugation usually tells me who is the, the subject that is um, conjugating the verb. So, that's, that's something that we usually do. But for the exercise, for exercise, uh, for practicing purposes, we're going to use every single pronoun. So, I have, yo abría una carta cada día. I open the letter every day. And remember... Some of these sentences might not sound uh, quite uh, natural because it would sound better if I say I used to open a letter every day or I would open a letter every day. But nonetheless, for as I explained before, for uh, the, the practicing purposes, we're going to just conjugate in English the verb in the simple past form. So, yo abría una carta cada día. I opened a letter every day. Tú abrías la puerta. You opened the door. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted abría la puerta. Singular, formal. Ustedes abrían la puerta. Plural. Vosotros abríais la puerta. Plural, Spain. Él abría su ventana por las mañanas. He opened his window in the mornings. Ella abría su corazón. She opened her heart. Abría sus alas. It opened its wings. Nosotros abríamos el libro cada clase. We opened the book every class. Ellos abrían la caja. They opened the box. Male. Ellas abrían la caja. Female. Let's move to uh, agarrar. To grab. Yo agarraba el lápiz. I grabbed the pencil. Tú agarrabas un cuaderno. You grabbed a notebook. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted agarraba un cuaderno, singular, formal. Ustedes agarraban un cuaderno, plural. Vosotros agarrabais un cuaderno, plural, Spain. Él agarraba el teléfono todo el tiempo. He grabbed the phone the whole time. Ella agarraba su maleta antes de salir. She grabbed her suitcase before leaving. Agarraba el hueso. He grabbed the bone. Nosotros agarrábamos su mano. We grabbed his hand. Ellos agarraban las llaves. They grabbed the keys. Male. Ellas agarraban las llaves. Female. And remember, uh, words that use the double R, the strong R, R, agarraban, the rolling tongue, the trilling uh, sound. I have a video in which I explain how to make the sound. If it's difficult, it's not going to be uh, easy. It requires a little bit of practice, but nonetheless, you can achieve that sound. So, 
Remember, if you have issues with the arre agarraban, con la R, with the R, uh, with the double R, please watch that video. Um, ahorrar, to save. Yo ahorraba dinero, I saved money. Tú ahorrabas tiempo, you save time. Singular, informal, close relationships. Let's move this a little bit here. Usted ahorraba tiempo, singular, formal. Ustedes ahorraban tiempo. Uh, plural, vosotros ahorrabais tiempo, plural Spain. Él ahorraba energía, he saved energy. Ella ahorraba agua, she saved water. Ahorraba combustible, it saved fuel. Nosotros ahorrábamos recursos, we saved resources. Uh, ellos ahorraban espacio, they saved space. Male, ellas ahorraban espacio, they saved space, female. Let's move to verb number four, amar. Yo amaba a mi familia. I loved my family. Tú amabas a tu mascota. You loved your pet. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted amaba a su mascota. Singular, formal. Ustedes amaban a sus mascotas. Plural. Vosotros amabais a vuestras mascotas. Plural, Spain. Colombian copy. Um, él amaba tocar la guitarra. He loved to play the guitar. Ella amaba ese vestido. She loved that dress. Amaba salir de paseo. It loved to go for a walk. Nosotros amábamos comer pizza. We loved to eat pizza. Ellos amaban a sus esposas. They loved their wives. Male. Ellas amaban a sus esposas. Female. Let's move to aprender. Yo aprendía español con Mike. I learned Spanish with Mike. Tú aprendías a nadar en las tardes. You learned how to swim in the afternoons. Usted aprendía a uh, singular informal close relationships. Usted aprendía a nadar en las tardes. En las tardes. Singular formal. Ustedes aprendían a, a nadar en las tardes. Plural. Us, eh, vosotros aprendíais a nadar en las tardes. Plural Spain. Él aprendía muchas cosas. He learned a lot of things. Ella aprendía a bailar. She learned to dance. Aprendía trucos nuevos. It learned new tricks. Nosotros aprendíamos a conducir. We learned to drive. Ellos aprendían rápido. They learned fast. Male. Ellas aprendían rápido. Female. So remember using the uh, conjugation table down here. Bajar, to lower, to go down, to get off, to descend. Yo bajaba las escaleras. I went down the stairs. Tú bajabas del autobús. You got off the bus. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted bajaba del autobús. Singular, formal. Ustedes bajaban del autobús. Plural. Vosotros bajabais de las, del autobús. Plural, Spain. Él bajaba la ventanilla. He lowered the window. Ella bajaba de la montaña. She descended the mountain. Bajaba a la calle. It went down to the street. Nosotros bajábamos del tren. We got off the train. Ellos bajaban la bandera. They lowered the flag. Male. Ellas bajaban la bandera. Female. Barrer. To sweep. Yo barría la casa. I swept the house. Tú barrías el cuarto. You swept the room. Singular and formal. Close relationships. Usted barría el cuarto. Singular, formal. Ustedes barrían el cuarto. Plural. Vosotros barríais el cuarto. Plural, Spain. Él barría el patio. He swept the backyard. Ella barría la cocina. She swept the kitchen. Barría rápidamente. It swept fast. Nosotros barríamos con cuidado. We swept carefully. Ellos barrían el andén. They swept the sidewalk. Male. Ellas barrían el andén. Female. Let's move to verb number eight. Beber. To drink. Yo bebía cerveza. I drank beer. Tú bebías leche. You drank milk. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted bebía leche. Singular, formal. Ustedes bebían leche, plural. Vosotros bebíais leche, plural, Spain. 
Él bebía con nosotros. He drank with us. Ella bebía por las noches. She drank at night. Bebía mucho. He drank a lot. Nosotros bebíamos juntos. We drank together. Ellos bebían en casa. They drank at home male. Ellas bebían en casa female. Verb number nine, cambiar, to change. Yo cambiaba mi ropa cada día. I changed my clothes every day. Tú cambiabas de parecer. You changed your mind, singular formal, close relationships. Usted cambiaba de parecer, singular formal. Ustedes cambiaban de parecer, plural. Vosotros cambiabais de parecer, plural, Spain. Él cambiaba el diseño. He changed the design. Ella cambiaba el horario. She changed the schedule. Cambiaba la temperatura. It changed the temperature. Nosotros cambiamos, cambiábamos la llanta. We changed the tire. Ellos cambiaban sus libros. They changed their books. Verb number 10, caminar, to walk. To walk. Yo caminaba en el parque. I walked in the park. Tú caminabas conmigo. You walked with me. Singular informal close relationships. Usted caminaba conmigo. Singular formal. Ustedes caminaban conmigo. Plural. Vosotros caminabais conmigo. Plural Spain. Él caminaba a casa. He walked home. Ella caminaba despacio. She walked slowly. Caminaba rápido. It walked fast. Nosotros caminábamos todos los días. We walked every day. Ellos caminaban por la mañana. They walked in the morning male. Ellas caminaban por la mañana female. Verb number 11, cantar. To sing. Yo cantaba por las mañanas. I sang in the morning. Tú cantabas bien. You sang well. Ustedes, usted, eh, singular informal, close relationships. Usted cantaba bien, singular formal. Ustedes cantaban bien, plural. Vosotros cantabais bien, plural Spain. Él cantaba en clase. He sang in class. Ella cantaba ópera. She sang opera. Um, cantaba todos los días. It sang every day. Nosotros cantábamos por dinero. We sang for money. Ellos cantaban una vez al mes. They sang one a once a month, male. Ellas cantaban una vez al mes, female. Let's move to verb number 12. Cenar, cenar. Yo cenaba con mi familia. I had dinner with my family. Tú cenabas en un restaurante. You had dinner at a restaurant, singular, informal, close relationships. Usted cenaba en un restaurante, singular, formal. Ustedes cenaban en un restaurante, plural. Vosotros cenabais en un restaurante, plural, Spain. Él cenaba en mi casa. He had dinner in my house. Ella cenaba con su esposo. She had dinner with her husband. Cenaba cada día. It had dinner every day. Nosotros cenábamos juntos. We had dinner together. Ellos cenaban a las ocho. They had dinner at eight. Male. Ellas cenaban a las ocho. Female. Uh, let's move to verb number 13. Cocinar. Cocinar. Um, yo cocinaba para ti. I cooked for you. Tú cocinabas cerdo una vez al mes. You cooked pork once a month. Singular, singular, informal, close relationships. Usted cocinaba cerdo una vez al mes. Singular, formal. Ustedes cocinaban cerdo una vez al mes. Plural. Vosotros cocinabais cerdo una vez al mes. Plural, Spain. Él cocinaba en su casa. He cooked in his house. Ella cocinaba sabroso. She cooked yummy. Cocinaba automáticamente. It cooked automatically. Nosotros cocinábamos todos los días. We cooked every day. Ella cocinaba. Ellos cocinaban profesionalmente. They cooked professionally male. Ellas cocinaban profesionalmente female. Verb number 14. Comer. To eat. 
Yo comía todos los días. I ate every day. Tú comías pizza. You ate pizza. Singular informal, close relationships. Usted comía pizza. Singular, formal. Ustedes comían pizza. Plural. Vosotros comíais pizza. Plural, Spain. Él comía con nosotros. He ate with us. Ella comía en casa. She ate at home. Comía pequeñas presas. It ate small prays. Nosotros comíamos juntos. We ate together. Ellos comían al mediodía. They ate at noon. Male. Ellas, male. Ellas comían al mediodía. Female. Verb number 15. Comparar. To compare. Comparar. Be, beware. Comparar. To compare. Comprar. To buy. Two different verbs. Sound pretty much similar. Not, not the same. Yo comparaba marcas. I compared brands. Tú comparabas precios. You compared prices. Mm, singular, informal, close relationships. Usted comparaba precios. Singular, formal. Ustedes comparaban precios. Plural. Vosotros comparabais precios. Plural, Spain. Él comparaba características. He compared traits. Ella comparaba vestidos. She compared dresses. Nosotros comparábamos habilidades. We compared skills. Ellos comparaban resultados. They compared results male. Ellas comparaban resultados female. Let's move to verb number 16. Compartir. To share. Remember to share the video if you liked it. Share with your friends, groups, and social media. Yo compartía mis experiencias. I shared my experiences. Um, tú compartías conocimiento. You shared knowledge. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted compartía conocimiento. Singular, formal. Ustedes compartían conocimiento. You shared knowledge. Plural. Vosotros compartíais conocimiento. Plural, Spain. Él compartía con sus amigos. He shared with his friends. Ella compartía sus ideas. She shared her ideas. Compartía comida con la manada. It shared food with its pack. Nosotros compartíamos nuestro dinero. We shared our money. Ellos compartían los juguetes. They shared the toys. Ellas compartían los juguetes. Female. Ellos, male. Eh, ellas, female. Verb number 17. Comprar. To buy. Yo compraba un carro nuevo cada cuatro años. I bought a new car every four years. I wish. Tú, <ríe> tú, comp tú comprabas los tiquetes. You bought the tickets. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted compraba los tiquetes. Singular, formal. Ustedes compraban los tiquetes. Plural. Vosotros comprabais los tiquetes. Plural, Spain. Él compraba víveres. He bought groceries. Ella compraba libros. She bought books. Compraba acciones automáticamente. It bought stocks automatically. Nosotros comprábamos dulces frecuentemente. We frequently bought candy. Ellos compraban ropa nueva. They bought new clothes male. Ellas compraban ropa nueva female. Verb number 18. Conversar. To chat and to talk. Yo conversaba con mis, con mis alumnos todos los días. I chatted with my students every day. Tú conversabas con tu amigo. You chatted with your friend. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted conversaba con su amigo. Singular, formal. Ustedes conversaban con su amigo. Plural. Vosotros conversabais con vuestro amigo. Plural, Spain. Él conversaba en clase. He chatted in class. Ella conversaba con su mejor amiga. She talked With her best friend. Conversaba conmigo. It talked with me. Nosotros conversábamos durante la reunión. We chatted during the meeting. And ellos conversaban por la mañana. They talked in the morning. Male. Ellas conversaban por la mañana. Female. And let's move to verb number 19. Copiar. To copy. Yo copiaba mis notas. I copied my notes. Tú copiabas el código. You copied the code. Singular. 
informal close relationships. ¿Usted copiaba el código? Singular formal. Ustedes copiaban el código plural. Vosotros copiabais el código plural Spain. Él copiaba los datos. He copied the data or the data. Ella copiaba el texto. She copied the text. Copiaba la información en otro dis disco. It copied the information in another disc. Nosotros copiábamos los números. We copied the numbers. Ellos copiaban la receta. They copied the recipe. Male. Ellas co copiaban la receta. Female. Verb number 20. Desayunar. To have breakfast. Yo desayunaba a las 7. I had breakfast at 7. Tú desayunabas huevos. You had eggs for breakfast. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted desayunaba huevos. Singular, formal. Ustedes desayunaban huevos. Plural. Vosotros desayunabais huevos. Plural, Spain. Él desayunaba con su esposa. He had breakfast with his wife. Ella desayunaba en casa. She had breakfast at home. Desayunaba con los otros cachorros. He had breakfast with the other puppies. Nosotros desayunábamos fruta. We had fruit for breakfast. Ellos desayunaban tarde. They had breakfast late. Male. Ellas desayunaban tarde. Female. Verb number 21. Dudar. To doubt. To waver. To have doubts. Yo dudaba que él pudiera... These sentences are kind of weird, but nonetheless, for per, uh, practicing purposes, we are going to conjugate the verb. Yo dudaba que él pudiera resolver el problema solo. I doubted that he could solve the problem alone. Tú dudabas de la veracidad de sus afirmaciones. You doubted the veracity of his statements. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted dudaba de la veracidad de sus afirmaciones. Singular formal. Ustedes dudaban de la, veracidad, de la veracidad de sus afirmaciones. Plural. Vosotros dudabais de la veracidad de sus afirmaciones. Plural Spain. Él dudaba de sus habilidades para realizar la tarea. He doubted his abilities to perform the task. Ella dudaba que la película fuera buena. She doubted that the movie was good. Dudaba acerca de su próximo movimiento. It doubted about its next move. Nosotros dudábamos que llegaran a tiempo para la reunión. We doubted that they would arrive on time for the meeting. Ellos dudaban en aceptar la oferta laboral. They doubted whether they should accept the job offer male. Ellas dudaban en aceptar la oferta laboral female. Verb number 22, durar. This is another one that in Spanish, these sentences are a little bit weird, uh, are understandable, pretty much not, not as natural as we would like to. But nonetheless, once again, it's for conjugation purposes. Durar, understood as to last, to endure, to bear, to take or to spend. And we have these sentences. Yo duraba aproximadamente una hora en terminar mi rutina de ejercicios. In Spanish, actually, we would say yo tardaba o me demoraba. But nonetheless, this is a conjugation exercise. I spent approximately an hour finishing my exercise routine. Tú durabas mucho, tú durabas mucho tiempo tomando decisiones importantes. You took a long time making important decisions, a singular, informal, close relationships. Usted duraba mucho tiempo tomando decisiones importantes. Singular, formal. Ustedes duraban mucho tiempo tomando decisiones importantes. Plural. Vosotros durabais mucho tiempo tomando decisiones importantes. Plural, Spain. Él duraba varios días para completar el informe. He took several days to complete the report. Ella duraba unos minutos en resolver el problema. She spent a few minutes solving the problem. Duraba una semana. It lasted a week. Nosotros durábamos mucho tiempo bajo la lluvia, esperando el autobús. We endured a long time in the rain, waiting for the bus. Ellos duraban todo el mes. They lasted the whole month, male. Ellas duraban todo el mes, female. Mm. Enamorar. Remember, um, we, I always explain this because it is important and perhaps you haven't 
watched the previous videos, but enamorar. This is a verb that can be conjugated in two different ways in Spanish. The way that I'm going to show first is when I make someone to fall in love with me, or when I captivate someone, or when I charm someone, or when I win someone's heart. That's the first conjugation. And I can also trans uh, use the verb enamorar when I fall in love and I use it slightly different, in a different way. So here is when enamorar means to make, uh, to, to make someone to fall in love with us, to captivate, to charm, to win someone's heart. And the conjugation is like so. Yo enamoraba a mi pareja con detalles románticos. I made my partner fall in love with romantic gestures. Tú enamorabas a todos con tu carisma. You charmed everyone with your charisma, singular, informal, close relationships. Usted enamoraba a todos con su carisma, singular, formal. Ustedes enamoraban a todos con su carisma, plural. Vosotros enamorabais a todos con vuestro carisma, plural, Spain. Él enamoraba a la audiencia con su voz angelical. He captivated the audience with his angelic voice. Ella enamoraba a sus seguidores con su talento artístico. She enchanted her followers with her artistic talent. Enamoraba a todos con sus paisajes. It charmed everybody with its landscapes. Nosotros enamorábamos a nuestros clientes con un excelente servicio. We won over our customers with excellent service. And ellos enamoraban a las personas con su actitud positiva. They made people fall in love with their positive attitude male. Ellas enamoraban a las personas con su actitud positiva female. And enamorarse, when, when we say to fall in love, we use the, the object pronoun me. Te, se, le, and so. Nos. And you can watch this here. Yo me enamoraba de su sonrisa cada vez que la veía. I fell in love with her smile every time I saw her. Tú te enamorabas fácilmente de personas interesantes. Similar informal close relationships for you fell in love easily with interesting people. Usted se enamoraba fácilmente de personas interesantes. Similar formal. Ustedes se enamoraban fácilmente de personas interesantes. Plural. Vosotros os enamorabais fácilmente de personas interesantes. Plural in Spain. Él se enamoraba profundamente de ella día tras día. He fell deeply in love with her day after day. Ella se enamoraba de la música cada vez que la escuchaba. She fell in love with the music every time she listened to it. Se enamoraba de su compañera. It fell in love with its partner. Nosotros nos enamorábamos de la naturaleza cuando salíamos. We fell in love with nature when we went outdoors. And ellos se enamoraban de la idea de explorar nuevos lugares, male. They fell in love with the idea of exploring new places and ellas se enamoraban de la idea de explorar nuevos lugares female. Let's move to escribir, to write or to type. Both in Spanish can be used as escribir. Yo escribía cartas a mis amigos con regularidad. I wrote letters to my friends regularly. Tú escribías en tu diario todas las noches. You wrote in your diary every night. Similar informal close relationships. Usted escribía en su diario todas las noches. Similar formal. Ustedes escribían en sus diarios todas las noches. Plural. Vosotros escribíais en vuestro diario todas las noches. Plural Spain. Él escribía poemas hermosos para su novia. He wrote beautiful poems for his girlfriend. Ella escribía artículos para una revista famosa. She wrote articles for a famous magazine. Escribía cartas. He wrote letters. Nosotros escribíamos correos electrónicos a nuestros clientes. We wrote or we sent emails to our clients. And ellos mm, escribían mensajes motivadores en las redes sociales. They wrote motivational messages on social media mail. Ellas escribían mensajes motivadores en las redes sociales female. Let's move to verb number 25. Escuchar, to listen. 
Yo escuchaba música mientras trabajaba en mi computadora. I listened to music when I, while I worked on my computer. Tú escuchabas las noticias todas las mañanas. You listen to the news every morning, singular, uh, formal, I mean, singular and formal close relationships. Usted escuchaba las noticias todas las mañanas, singular, formal. Ustedes escuchaban las noticias todas las mañanas, plural. Vosotros escuchabais las noticias todas las mañanas, plural, Spain. Él escuchaba consejos de sus padres. He listened to advice from his parents. Ella escuchaba podcasts interesantes durante su tiempo libre. She listened to interesting podcasts during her free time. Escuchaba cuidadosamente. It listened carefully. Nosotros escuchamos las opiniones de nuestros colegas. We listened to our colleagues' opinions. And ellos escuchaban las instrucciones del profesor en clase. They listened to the teacher's instructions in class, male. Ellas escuchaban las instrucciones del profesor en clase, female. Verb number 26. Esperar. To wait, to hope, or to expect. We translate all those three verbs as esperar in Spanish. Yo esperaba el autobús en la, portada, en la parada todas las semanas. Ah, sorry. Yo esperaba el autobús en la parada todas las mañanas. I waited for the bus at the stop every morning. Tú esperabas a tus amigos en el parque. You waited for your friends at the park. Singular and formal, close relationships. Usted esperaba a sus amigos en el parque. Singular formal. Ustedes esperaban a sus amigos en el parque. Plural. Vosotros esperabais a vuestros amigos en el parque. Plural in Spain. Él esperaba pacientemente su turno. He waited patiently for his turn. Ella esperaba buenas noticias de su entrevista. She waited for good news from her interview. Esperaba por su comida. It waited for its food. Nosotros esperábamos la llegada de nuestros familiares. We waited for the arrival of our relatives. Ellos esperaban el inicio del concierto. They waited for the beginning of the concert. Male. Ellas esperaban el inicio del concierto. Female. Verb number 27. Estudiar. To study. Yo estudiaba matemáticas todos los días. I studied mathematics every day. Tú estudiabas inglés en la escuela. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted escuchaba inglés en la escuela. Usted estudiaba. I'm sorry. I'm going to go back again. I don't know why I, I misread this. Tú estudiabas inglés en la escuela. You studied English at school. Singular, informal, close relationships. Usted estudiaba inglés en la escuela. Singular, formal. Ustedes estudiaban inglés en la escuela. Plural. Vosotros estudiabais inglés en la escuela. Plural, Spain. Él estudiaba historia para el examen final. He studied history for the final exam. Ella estudiaba música los fines de semana. She studied music on the weekends or on weekends. Estudiaba sus movimientos. It studied its movements. Nosotros estudiábamos ciencias en el laboratorio. We studied science in the laboratory. Ellos estudiaban medicina en la universidad. They studied medicine at the university. Male. Ellas estudiaban medicina en la universidad. Female. And the last verb of, uh, for tonight. Verb number 28. Existir. To exist. This, these sentences are kind of weird, but once again, it is for uh, conjugation exercises for uh, practicing purposes. Yo existía en este mundo para cumplir mi propósito. I existed in this world to fulfill my purpose. Tú existías en otra dimensión. You existed in another dimension. Singular, formal, close relationships. Usted existía en otra dimensión. Singular, formal. Ustedes existían en otra dimensión. Plural. Vosotros existíais en otra dimensión. Plural, Spain. Él existía como una leyenda en la historia del deporte. He existed as a legend in the history of sports. Ella existía para ayudar a los demás. She existed to help others. Existía en diferentes lugares del mundo. It existed in different parts of the world. Nosotros existíamos como parte de un ecosistema interconectado. We existed as part of an interconnected ecosystem. And ellos existían para defender los derechos humanos. They existed to defend human rights. Male. Ellas existían para defender los derechos humanos. Female. So, 
We have practiced the conjugation rules for regular verbs in the simple past form when it's the pretérito imperfecto. Something like the imperfect past. And remember, this conjugation works when we want to talk about things that we used to do in the past, that we did frequently on a frequent basis, or when we're uh, telling a story. We use that 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 uh, past form in Spanish like so. And um, this has been a list. I have 56 verbs, but to, in this video we're going half. The next half is going to be next class. 28 uh, of the most used regular verbs, and some of the verbs end in ar, some of the verbs end in ir, and a few ones. I mean, end in er, and a few ones end in ir. Using this table, we understand how to conjugate the verbs, and this is a matter of practice. So remember, the, the idea is for you to practice as much as you can. Remember, you need to practice. First, focus just on practicing the conjugation. Do not worry about the structure of the sentence. Do not worry about how to use the articles, uh, gender issues. Don't worry that much about that. This exercise is for focusing on the conjugation. That's it. Later, we're going to practice other things. And these are regular verbs, which follow rules. Of course, that's the reason why they are called regular verbs. And I also have some videos in which I do the same with the most used irregular verbs, which is also useful. We understand how to conjugate the verbs and uh, we are shortly going to start a series of videos in which I'm going to explain the structures for the sentences. Um, I see nobody seem to have questions because nobody has said anything in the chat. So I missed some when, when you say hi at least. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Uh, remember, remember, if you like the video, please, you know what to do, share with your friends, groups, and social media. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, click the bell button, the notification button, in order to get notifications, of course, uh, whenever I post a brand new video. I'm posting videos on a weekly basis. Uh, I'm also working on, there's, there's already... The second um, season of the podcast, it's already uh, waiting for the premiere. And it's going to be very interesting because it's going to be conversations with people in Spanish. We're going to have subtitles in English and Spanish. It's going to be so cool. Second season of uh, Spanish uh, with Mike, the, the podcast. And for the, for the series of videos... Uh, for Colombian Slang 101, I'm going to, I have a video, I recently uh, posted a video on Monday, well, yesterday, um, in which we are uh, doing a quick recap on the the words and slang that we have learned so far, like six, six of them. I think it was uh, a la orden, como amaneció, mm, achantado. Um, arruncharse, abrirse y avión. Yeah, seis, six, six. And I have a conversation with a friend of mine, a uh, native Spanish speaker, uh, a dear friend of mine, which is basically family. And we chat for over 30 minutes in Spanish uh, about those uh, words and slang. It's very interesting. I have subtitles in Spanish not in English, in Spanish, that's going to be for you to practice your listening skills, listening comprehension skills. So I think that's going to be it for tonight. Seems nobody is asking any question. I don't see. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why. It's weird. You know, you know what? It's weird because I, I have here, man, I have here. I usually have the, 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 um, the cell phone here. And I usually have this in order to be able to, to, uh, to reply to the comments. Oh, it was it was set for 
uh, I'm sorry. I missed the comments, so let me check the comments. Give me just a second and I'm going to do that. Serena, hi, everybody. Uh, hi, how are you? Um, Swagda, uh, hola, señor Mike, ¿cómo estás? Just be you, T-Y, hola. Thanks for being here. Whoops, tarde, flash floor area, don't worry. It's good to have you here. Michael Jines, Jines, hola. Thanks for being here, too. Dailing, Dailing lives in, in Cuba. Uh people who's living also in the in the region that it's affected by the hurricane hopefully you're doing good please stay safe please stay safe um and uh yeah all of you are all of you are uh yeah <laughs> cute little trap but i guess <laughs> it's funny because i was like how come nobody's saying anything it's like it's crazy it was just a matter of um I, I had the wrong settings on my phone, so yeah. Thanks, thanks all of you for being here. Um, Serena, for for all of the ones who are interested in video gaming, Serena has a channel, which is Adventures with Red. Uh, awesome channel. She shares uh, No Man's Sky um, adventures with Red. And she is recently um also opened her store her online store for uh the ones who want to maybe uh be part of that i'm going to share here real quick youtube.com slash at adventures with dread one other thing yeah my pleasure good friend of mine a dear friend of mine mm, and Mm, one other thing is that I don't know if there's people, English native speakers, who want, who, maybe you want to practice Spanish, who want to find uh, Spanish native speakers for a language exchange practice. This is not for classes, this is not for explanations or or deep um, explanations on concepts but just for uh, exchanging with with uh, other um, uh, uh, Spanish language language speakers if you want to send me a message if you want to be part of this send me a message to info at miguelpenilla.com if you are uh, an English native speaker who wants to find language exchange, exchange partners send me a message and we can see if we can do the, uh, something but remember this is just for conversation this is not going to be for classes this is not going to be for reviewing exercises or um answering uh, uh, questions about the way it works or why just for exchanging so if you want to that's so once again, thank you all for being here tonight with me, with us all together, uh, practicing this. Uh, looking forward to seeing you. Uh, I I hope maybe on Thursday, and we're going to finish the the remaining 20, 28 verbs, and hope you're going to have lots of fun learning Spanish with Mike. So thanks for being here. Gracias a todos. Un abrazo fuerte y. Nos vemos la próxima clase. Chao.